So welcome to phase three of Professional Instructor Skills and Management. We've got a nice um, fun packed day today for us um, and we like to operate in a really kind of informal manner really so obviously it's audience participation today. If ever you've, you've got a question at any point stick your hand up and um, we'll go through all of that. I'm just going to run through briefly the day that we have planned so you'll know pretty much what to expect. You've got your welcome packs, which I'm sure you've all had a chance to read about three times since you've been here. You've got those in front of you. We'll be working through those throughout the day and we've got some additional handouts that we'll give you as the day progresses. This is Russ McCarthy, tutor, and um, he, he used to do dog training classes for 10 years, but he doesn't do it anymore. He concentrates more on his behaviour stuff and he runs the London Dog Behaviour. Okay, so this is Les Graham, who runs Train for Life and the Pet Gun Dog, yep. and author of the book of the same name, which I think you've all read already, so you're familiar with that. And um, also operates a behaviour consultancy as well. Uh, Vicky's our assistant tutor for today. Vicky also runs puppy and adult dog training classes a few times a week, and um, also sees clients for behaviour consults those treats isn't he? Let's save them for when he does the right thing and then when he gets it right we'll make a big fast kiss okay. on the head. We like that don't we? So that's good, we'll do that. Okay. So all we need to do in order to give him the rest of the food reward and fast praise, cuddle kiss from mummy. Big observation with and learn from ready for your lessons this afternoon. Okay, so what I'm going to teach this group is why you use a watch command. Does anybody else use that in their training? Teach the dogs to watch to focus on them. I use it the whole time really, I find myself using it. I always get the dog's attention. Before I do any training or anything, you know, heel work training or anything close, I always get their attention with a watch command. on our left hand side or it doesn't really matter left or right hand side doesn't matter at all and once we've got them in the sit position we are going to tell them to wait using the hand signal wait walk away in front of them just two paces initially okay and then we're going to um, encourage them to come to us this needs to be excited they're going to want to come to you okay and as they come to you just back away from them just a little bit just to encourage them make them want to come to you all the more. I'm Catherine Smith. Uh, last year I completed the foundation course um, and on uh, canine care and behaviour and I'm now doing the professional skills and management course and I've also signed up to do the common canine behaviour course as well. Uh, it's given me a lot of confidence uh, but I think it's mostly the instructors are extremely informative and supportive and encouraging and they're good fun at the same time. So that's that's been a good thing to take away with me. I handled Angus the Golden Retriever. Uh, he was slightly distracted by his owner being around, uh, but nice temperament. Um, I handled the Rottweiler. Um, he was funny, ignored me again a bit of the time, rolled around on his back, but was nice, very friendly, and a couple of the German Shepherds I handled as well, Dieter. I handled yeah. And again, distracted because the owner was around, so I seemed to get all the dogs with him. 
Hello to everyone, my name is Sodiris. Today we're gonna teach the stay position with our dogs. So, uh, first, uh, I want from you, put your dog on your left side, say the command stay with your left hand, do like this on the lid, like a crossbow, and we do like this, stay, make a step, and then this. The reward is only in the end of the exercise. Very nice. Hello everyone, my name is Sodiris. I, I am from Cyprus. I am a dog trainer. I do this job for four years. I'm involving in basic obedience uh, for domesticated dogs. Uh, I'm working with uh, different kinds of breeds, um, different kinds of owners also. I find my job very interesting. I hope to enlarge my knowledge here in the uh, CIDBT. Uh, in my job, the most of the people, they just uh, learn how to, do, to demonstrate the commands with the dog. They don't learn about the behavior of the dog, about the, his, the, the dog's character, his feeling, the, the, the reason why the dog does some certain things. Uh, I find this the behavior of dog dog very very interesting, and I want to learn better in purpose to be a better professional uh, in my field. Uh, the setup was is fantastic. I mean the park is uh, exactly what a dog trainer needs to learn, uh, see and exchange uh, opinions with other uh, trainers or dog owners. A large amount of uh, information, exchanging different opinions with other trainers. Very relaxing day, very com comfortable. Everything was great. Today we are very easy going. Yeah. Uh, makes you understand everything, explain twice or three times if uh, it is necessary. Uh, explaining to everybody individual, but also uh, pass the meaning uh, of the exercise to everybody. Take a step, then to this. And learn from ready for your lessons this afternoon. Yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Good.